So the, the changing of dynamics when you as a couple had couple friends and then your partner dies and it's weird or it's off, even when they're lovely, as you said, that is really, really, really common, right? Because we're like the uh, couples with other couples, like there's a dynamic there and the balance shifts, right? So you've got sort of that, that double whammy of friendships always shift when somebody dies, things always get different, not necessarily bad, not necessarily good, but different. And then you've got that extra layer of when we knew each other as couples and now I am no longer an incarnate couple anymore. Um, so it's really normal for that dynamic to feel different. So two things I want to touch on here. One is if you haven't, and if you have felt drawn to, you can bring that up with your couple friends, either as couples or as individuals, if you're closer to one part of a couple than another, not to necessarily solve for anything, but to bring up, um, you know, I've noticed that it feels different hanging out with us together when we used to do this all the time as couples and now the balance has changed. Um, have you noticed that? Or it's not good, not bad. I just, I'm so thankful for you. I just notice it right? As a way to open up the conversation about the dynamic change with the relationships that you, um, that you're thankful for, or that are still feeling supportive for you. It's, it's okay to mention the elephant in the room, I bet, I guess is what I'm saying there. And to open up a conversation around that. And maybe that allows those relationships to become their now thing, right? Or their next thing, their next dynamic. So that's, that's one possibility. The thing about finding single friends, boy, making friends as a grown up, no matter what the circumstances, is challenging. It is challenging, right? And when you've moved, right? Like I feel like I I did the reverse from you. I went from Oregon to California. So I feel like the the guidelines, for lack of a better word, but the I've been in tech specs all day, the guidelines for making friends as an adult um, are sort of the same no matter what the circumstance is knowing that making friends as an adult can be challenging because we don't have so many of the things that are like um, that force new relationships or force force new communities, right? Like we don't have many of those things. So this is actually something that I know a lot of folks have wrestled with in this community. And my my response <laughs> is like the things that I do to make new friends as a grown up, right? Or when I move to a new community. So volunteering in places where people who are my particular brand of dorkiness or wonder would hang out, right? Like down here in Los Angeles, I am hopefully about to start volunteering at the zoo because I love plant and animal people. Um, things like that, anything that you would do to normally build community, you can do that now. Um, as far as where do the unpartnered people hang out, I don't, I don't know that that is a specific thing because what gets tricky, what gets tricky is that you can, um, even if you don't intend to be in the singles world, there's a connotation to coming into the singles world that, that sounds like you're looking to date people. So just be mindful of that. If you're looking for, um, you know, ways to make friends as a single person, if you put that into a search engine, you're going to come back with dating sites. And that's not what I hear you're looking for in, in this thing. You're sort of looking for new friendships that aren't necessarily based on couples meeting other couples. Yeah. So I go with um, courses for things that you think are neat or um, volunteering places, basically getting involved in the community the reality here, here is that you're getting involved in the community as a single person. So it's less about where, where specifically does a single person find other single people, but what, what would bring you even the smallest amount of joy or interest or engagement and looking for those things and then keeping an eye out for other people. Because what you may find is that it's not other single people you're looking for. It is relationships that are one-on-one -on -one instead of couples and couples. Right. That doesn't preclude somebody that you become a friend with who isn't in a relationship 
like, you know, one of my closest friends is married to somebody who is not one of my closest friends, but I'm also friends with them, but we spend most of our time together. Do you know what I mean? Like what you're looking for is as a single person, I want to find single people to be friends with because I'm no longer making friends as a unit. That was a really long explanation for me to get to that actual single nugget in there, which is do things that will increase community and know that you are looking for individual friendships instead of what was previously, which is a couple looking for other couples to be friends with. 